Bro, how is more footage of this game leaked? Like, I don't understand. Can whoever is doing this actually please? Leak some more, bro, go on, don't be shy, come on, if you're gonna leak some anyways, I might as well leak loads of it, right? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Anyways, yep, that is right, in today's video, we have yet again, some more leaked gameplay footage of Epic Mickey rebrushed. Now, this is actually found on 4chan, weirdly, so, um, yeah, that's where our source is for today's video. Now, it has been out for, like, over a week now, I'm pretty sure, but I haven't seen many people talking about it, so, um, that's what we're here to do, right? Here to talk about the leaks and stuff because um, it looks pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a look at the leak at hand. So to give a lot of context for these leaks here, they're basically all surrounding the photo mode of the game, which is why we have this first screenshot of it right here and uh, yeah, I think this is Dark Beauty Castle, and we can see that they're using the photo mode, and there's some sort of strange filter going on here. It's giving everything like a kind of purple-looking thing, unless that's part of the actual area of the game, but he's also giving like an outline to all the things. So like, Mickey's got an outline, the barrels in the background have got an outline, basically, everything here has an outline. And obviously, this is one of the many filters in the photo mode of the game, and uh, yeah, if this is one of them, then yeah, it looks pretty nice, I suppose. But now, we have to see the photo mode in more depth, as we have the leaked gameplay footage. Yeah, and that's it, a bit short, obviously 20 seconds, I think like the same amount as the uh, other leaked gameplay footage, but um, we still got to see uh, like a decent amount of it, both in terms of the photo mode and also the menus. So to start off with the quality of the gameplay and to like the texturing and everything like that, this looks very low quality, so this might be the Switch version, I'm assuming. Oh wait, actually, we know for a fact that it's a Switch version, because if you look in the photo mode menu thing, it says there, ZL and ZR, pretty sure those are Switch controls, so yeah. This is the Switch version of the game, and uh, yeah, you can definitely tell it is for the Switch. Because the resolution of the game isn't very high right now, definitely 720p, maybe even lower, I don't know. I know the bitrate of the video isn't going to do this thing any justice here, but you can definitely still tell. Like, even the texturing on the walls and everything, everything doesn't look too great so yeah we heard from the last video obviously the early demo review of the game that the person in the switch version could definitely tell that it was a bit rough around the edges and uh, yeah i could definitely see what he meant now like even the lighting of some of these things here doesn't look all too great really and now i won't complain too much about it though because we don't know how far in development this build of the game actually is because obviously this is leaked footage not supposed to be out there in the wild right now but obviously just early thoughts right now uh, yeah the texturing of the game looks very rough the lighting is a bit off in the switch version and uh, obviously 720p we kind of expected that now something else about the gameplay here is the heads up display now we saw this in the leaked gameplay footage from about a month ago but um mickey's face is no longer 2d artwork it's instead a 3d model of his face now just like epic mickey too. And I guess that means that, yeah, that wasn't obviously early build stuff. This is all going to be in the final game now, so uh, for the people out there who really were bothered by this, unfortunately for you, um, yeah, it's going to be a 3D model now, so uh, deal with it, I guess. Now, me personally, I don't really mind it all too much, really. I mean, it's just that small little thing right there. I mean, if they still animate his face when he gets hit and whatnot, I guess it'll be fine. And it's not like it looks bad or anything like that. It just looks simply okay, so I don't see any issues with it, really. But Mickey's head aside, the head of the display looks a lot better here than the original, in my opinion. I mean, I like the way the paint looks with the kind of... Is that like purple or whatever, yeah, in the background? Behind the hearts or whatever, even down with the paint as well on the right and the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it looks really clean and nice, honestly. And I also like how we have the two bars in the top left two there. I think that's probably for the Guardians, I'm assuming. Now, it is interesting how we have two bars there. So does that mean we can store evil and good Guardians at the same time? I'm not too sure, actually. Maybe you press the left stick to throw the evil ones, and you press the right stick to throw the good Guardians? Maybe? I don't know. But anyways, moving on to the menus here, we go to the overview, and it looks like we have a map here. Now, I can't remember if it was actually in the original or not. I think it was in Epic Mickey 2, but not 1, so we now have a map in the uh, game now, so that's nice. And we are currently in Tomorrow City Lagoon. Interesting, interesting. Now, there isn't much interesting here on the map right now. All we see is Mickey's icon. Obviously, that's where we are. As we can see on the left, it says Mickey U. Kind of weird how to say Mickey U, as if it could be anybody else interesting and then we also have the two projectors that we have in tomorrow city so uh yeah nothing too interesting here but something that i did notice here is if you look at mickey's icon on the map comparing that to the head of display one 
it looks a bit different, doesn't it? Now, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but, um, Mickey's icon on the map is surrounded in blue. And then Mickey's icon, obviously, on the hazard display is surrounded in white. Now, remember how in the original Epic Mickey, Mickey's appearance would change depending on if he was good or evil? Maybe this could be a tease towards that, maybe? I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of glitch showing up where Mickey's icon on the map is showing up as good because Mickey's face also changes you because you can see like a smiling on the map but then obviously on the hazard display he's more so just like a regular happy mickey or whatever maybe that blue icon there is heroic mickey and then the one we see in the hazard display is his regular mickey when he's neutral and then that could perhaps make way for scrapper mickey when he's evil I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Now, the next menu that we see for a brief little second is the quest sections. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this makes sense, really. Because in Epic Mickey, obviously, we have the quests. And it's kind of hard to tell when you're actually doing one and what you have to actually do for it. So, it's good to see that we have a menu for this now so we can keep track of them at all times. So, yeah, that's very handy. But then we go to the options screen and see some very interesting things here. So, we can see select level, cheats, dev menu, enter photo mode, game settings, credits, and back to main menu. Now, I'm assuming that the cheats in the dev menu part obviously for developers, obviously, but hopefully the select level part is actually going to be in the final game. Because one issue that Epic Mickey had in the original is that you could have go back to previous levels if you wanted to. Meaning that once you beat the game, if you try to go back into the save file again, you just go back to the start of the game again, which is actually kind of annoying. So hopefully that select level part isn't just going to be there for developers. Hopefully we as a player can actually use that menu. Because if not, yeah, that is going to be a big issue. But now moving on to the photo mode part of the leak. I mean, yeah, it certainly is a photo mode. I can definitely say that with heart. Yeah, it's certainly a photo mode. It's got your basic things like zooming in and out, tilting, going up and down, rotating. You got some different filters here. I mean, yeah, it's a... Uh Looks like an alright photo mode, nothing amazing. Now, I don't know if we see all the filters in the game here, but one filter that I think that should definitely be in the game is some sort of way to make the game look like a 2D cartoon. I think that would look really cool. I'm not sure how hard that would actually be, but uh, to be fair, we saw it in the screenshot earlier that they could make like everything have outlines or whatever, so... Maybe they could do it, maybe not. We'll have to see. I mean, this game is being made in Unreal Engine 5, so that should give them a lot of freedom as to what they actually want to do with this game because, yeah, Unreal Engine 5 is a pretty easy to use engine with a lot of customization that you can do on it, so yeah, we'll have to see, I suppose. Now, one thing I do hope that we have to actually do with the photo mode is pause during cutscenes. Now, it won't work during the 2D cutscenes, obviously, the animated ones, but in terms of the 3D ones, I hope we can actually pause the game there and actually move the camera as well there because I think that'd be really cool. Like, especially during, like, the P a pan thing or whatever actually no, it's not even peter pan is it it's peter pete what's his name again pete pan i think that's what's called yeah pete pan like it's a little cut scene with caption fuck where he's fighting or whatever hope we actually just pause the game during that and actually like take some photos of him fighting pete pan i mean captain hook i'm getting confused here but yeah, I hope you can pause during that, take some clean shots of that thing. That'd be very cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the leak in today's video then. So we now see how the photo mode is going to work in the game. And uh, yeah, it looks all right. Again, hopefully the filters can actually carry the photo mode and have some pretty crazy ones in there. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then we also got to see some more of the menus here, getting some more insight in the game. Maybe even seeing the good and evil Mickey in the game with the icons we talked about earlier. Maybe, we'll have to see. But... Let me know what you guys think of this leak. Do you think we could see some Scrapper Mickey in the game? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by pressing that join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.